Okay, so we're going to today look at reverse percentages. So a reverse percentage is where the percentage has already happened and you've got the end answer either by reducing or increasing the amount by the percentage. And so um, it's already happened and we've got to find out what the value was before that percentage reduction or um, increase has happened. Okay, so here's an example. A coat is produced by 40% in sale and now costs £42. What was its cost before the sale? So what this is saying is we had an amount, we found 40% of it and we took it away and our answer is £42. And we've got to work backwards to work out what it was before we started. Okay, so we are going to say that our original amount was a hundred percent okay it's worth a hundred percent if we reduce that original amount by 40 percent what percent are we left with we are left with 60 percent so this 42 pounds is equivalent to 60 percent now you could have this one without a calculator we then are trying to get back to what the original was we are trying to find what a hundred percent is worth so how can I do that from 60? Well, I could divide by 6 to give me 10%. So that means that 10% is worth £7. And so 100% is £70. And so my answer is £70. You can check it because you could do 40% of 70 So you do 10% uh, 10 or oh, I'm writing this badly, 10% is 7, 40% is 28 and um, 70, take away 28, oh happy days, is £42. Okay so it works. You don't need to do this, I'm just showing you that it works. Okay example two, very very similar. A book is reduced by 13% in the sale and now costs £10.66. What was it before the sale? Okay, so same thing, we're trying to get back to the original. The original is always going to be worth 100%. It's been reduced by 13%, so that must leave us with 87%. Okay, so 87% is equal to £10.66. Now, not so easy to get 10% here, so, I mean, we could, of course, we could divide by 8.7, but it makes more sense to find 1%. So to find 1%, I'm dividing by 87. Now, I'm not expecting you to be able to do that. You can just pop it in your calculator. £10.66 divided by 87, like we thought, going to be some hideous number. What? 0.122528. Now, try and keep as many decimals as you can to start with because that will make it easier. Blah, blah, blah. If we're on 1%, to get back to our magic 100 that we're trying to find, we times by 100. And when you times that by 100, you don't need to do a calculator, use a calculator for that. You get 12.25287, blah, blah, blah. Now, of course, we are dealing with money here. Money, of course, is rounded to one, two sorry, decimal places. And so the answer is £12.25. OK, let's look at a couple of other examples where it's been increased by a percentage rather than reduced by a percentage. So... Example number one, a TV costs £540, including 20% VAT. Work out its cost without VAT. So we had a cost, we found 20%, we added it on, and the answer we got was 540 Okay, and we've got to work out what it was before we added the 20%. So, same old thing again. We start with the original. The original is 100%. We've included, we've added on 20%, which means our new amount is worth 120%. So £540 equals 120%. We've then got to try and get back to this 100%. So if I divide by 12, that will give me 10%. Okay, 540 divided by 12 is 45. You shouldn't need a calculator for that, although I used one. And then you could do a bus stop, of course. And then to get to 100%, I'm going to times by 10, times by 10, and it should be £450. 
Easy to check this one in our heads. 10% is 45, 20% is 90, 450 plus 90 makes 540 happy days. Okay, so originally it cost 450 pounds. And this one here is exactly the same. Um, a laptop is 987 pounds, including 17.5% VAT. That's what the VAT rate used to be. Uh, work out what it was before the VAT, excluding VAT. Okay, so again, the original is at 100%. If we've added 17.5% yeah, 17 to it, we are left with 117.5%. So £987 is worth 117.5%. Easiest probably to find 1% here. So we're going to divide by 117.5 to find 1%. So 987 divided by 117.5 is 8.4 times it by 100 to get what 100% is. And that is 840 pounds. Okay, right now, there has been a little discussion from those who are remain nameless about why this works okay so let me just talk to you about why this works so if we start if you want to switch off now absolutely fine we're just doing this algebraically so if we have a cost let's call our cost x if i'm finding if i'm adding 20 percent vat to it obviously to find 20 percent, i'm timesing by 0 0.2 to find 20% and add it on, I'm timesing by 1.2. That times it's by, it's, it gives it itself, so the x, plus the 20%, times by 1.2, and I get a new cost, let's call that n. Okay? <coughs> Excuse me. So, if we've been given n, which includes the VAT, to find it excluding the VAT, I can do n divided by 1.2, to give me x. I'm just working backwards there. So that's the amount including VAT to give me the amount excluding VAT. Hopefully that makes sense. Okay. Um, if we had it the opposite way where it's been reduced, um, if you thought about the cost before the original cost, let's say the original cost is y and the new cost the new sale cost let's call that p okay so to find um p then no uh, oh yeah to find p we would times the original cost by a hundred percent take away whatever our percentage is so let's say our percentage is a percent we would if it was 20 percent we times it by 0 0.8 Okay, so if it's 20%, we would times it by 0 0.8 to get our sale cost, wouldn't we? So to work backwards, if we've been given our sale cost and we want our original cost, we would do P divided by 0 0.8 and that would work. Hope that makes sense.